In 40 years, what do you think you'll be most nostalgic about? This. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. This room as well. Yeah, this. No. What, the, the, the podcast that changed the entire face of UK comedy podcasting? That's right, Chappelle. We're fucking massive. You'll be dead. I'll be on my way out. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, you will be dead? No, you might not be dead. He's, he's not seeing 81. Come on. Brav. Oi. Booner Loves a booner. He's had a coke habit. Yep. 81. Nah. Mate, if you keep living in town, you might not see 51. That's I don't want to see 51. All right, okay, cool. Why? Hmm? What? Come on. Uh, 51? Yeah. It's like next year. <laughs> We're on a boat. I'm done, you know. Oh, no. Think about how, how Hang on, if you have a kid in two years. Yeah. Or three years. Yeah. That, the kid's 18th birthday. Get a 18 and then I do. Yeah. <laughs> why? I've raised you. You'll Jesus. know the ways of the world, son. Is Go this, and dominate. Is this why you stay Take fresh? over the family business. Is this why he's staying fresh for tomorrow? Because it's the mother of his children. I am, wow. <laughs> Speed dating. If she listens to this. How's your ovaries? She's already moved in. <laughs> okay, just before we do questions, there's a key. There's a key card. <laughs> no keys in my building, man. Oh! oh the living of the fucking asshole, mate. <laughs> Fobs only, mate. I can't even get in the room. That's just a fucking fish, I've been really good on the no booners this week. I'm just trying to be a gentleman. I don't want to turn up a shell of a man. You're great, Ungover. I'm I mean, not. You... I'm great at this, Ungover. Oh, all right. Yeah, this yeah. doesn't work on a date, does it? Oh, and no. she's like, oh, I just think about the queen. And I'm like, I think she frigged her fucking <laughs> Gloucester shit off to death. <laughs> First question is the key card. Would you rather <laughs> lick my asshole? You finish it. <laughs> Isabel, ring that when I'm talking shit. What did James That's not Ward name. say? What? What did James Ward say? He said, shut up, Carl, you fucking person. You missed me, Grace. Isabel, Isabel joke there. I said, That's not a name. What's really funny about that is Isabel, it is. Isabel. Name's Isabel. What's happening, Izzy? Oh, uh, Izzy. Yeah. Is he uh, the other Imagine if you just, as you came, went, Izzy, Izzy, let's get busy. Right in a fucking. But we've already got busy that Right in work. a fucking Somerset. Um, John Ward says, "In forty years, what do you think you'll be most nostalgic about?" That's what John Ward Genuinely, says. Genuinely, this room. I don't even like. Are you? Re- is that, are we doing the honest, really cute answer? It has to be this. My all of our clock. lives. My working dick. Fuck him. My working dick is what I'm going to be. Good film. If it goes, ah, uh, I thought about that the other day. I was like, "What if you just dick just goes too old now, sir?" Viagra can't do it anymore. You have a Viagra, and you've got a fucking the best dick you've ever had. Yeah. Do you have a Viagra for a wank? Yeah. If it doesn't work no more, how you want to sad is that? Although I do depends have a... how much you want to come. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's good. More row philosophy. Was it? Was it wanky? <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? Dan's jizz. <laughs> oh, we're about to get booned all over. <laughs> yeah, I think some people Viagra to to spaff, Yeah. Just for, it's a pretty sad man that's taking a Viagra for wanking. But doesn't Viagra mean it takes you longer to come? So isn't that a no. fucking day and a half? No, yeah. it just keeps it up, doesn't it? Does it? Oh, yeah, it, it just doesn't just, go down after. It's very sore, Willy. Really? <laughs> yeah. It just, afterwards, you're like, I've had right. that when I've been with particularly tight women as well. You are. You say gentlemen. Yeah, gentlemen. <laughs> Loosen her up tomorrow. I will not turn hung, uh, t- turn up hungover. Let's hope she has a nice loose vagina. <laughs> There's a key card. Let me look at your vagina. <laughs> wow, massive, reassuring. <laughs> Multi-story. Um, <laughs> oh, look, you know. It's a second floor on that, love. You know she's a big girl when she's got a lift. <laughs> she I'm never to telling it. you no, anything. No, no. Sorry, um, Izzy B. <laughs> Sorry, Izzy. Is he my fucking spaffy? Um, <laughs> you- That's after me. <laughs> That's why he said it. <laughs> fucking hell, bad. <laughs> That's an after shit. If I hadn't seen such riches, I could live with being poor. What? <laughs> what? Hey, Dan, let me just tell you. Up the ra. <laughs> That's not road assistant. <laughs> You're fucking mad. You're mad fucking English, can't you? All right. What are you going to be nostalgic about, Daniel? Um, yes. This. The thing that you know, all of our lives, I yeah. had a moment uh, two days ago when I got back from Ireland oh. 
and we came in here, we were all dog tired for this week's Patreon oh, exclusive. Oh. And exclusive? I, your when mouse I, doesn't work tonight, does it? Exclusive. <laughs> Bit your tongue. And we had Chris Eubank as a guest, <laughs> and it was excellent. Guff. Stupendous. Stupendous. I, I, I just drove back to Lars and she was like, God, you're in a good mood. I was knackered. But because of this pod, I've just started my first tour. I got booed at both Belfast and Dublin because you've chosen the national anthem as my walk. Can you imagine music. if the Queen had died last week, by the way, and you did that in Ireland last week? Oh, they would have been ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. How mental is it that you've nailed that, you choosing my walk on music so amazingly, <coughs> just by fluke? You've made it so it's actually more awkward in Nantwich, Cheshire. <laughs> than it was in Belfast or Dublin. In Belfast and Dublin, they were like, hey, fuck off me. Tonight, it nearly got the gig pulled. I had to speak to the general manager of the fucking venue, and he had to be like, right, okay. Uh, and, and like a knobhead, I'm like, yeah, we're still doing it though, yeah? Um, I had a moment when I was like, we came in here and just had such a fucking good time. Yeah. yeah. And I, my mum died when, I, when, when she was relatively Stop young. People, going on about it. People, honestly... This at the moment things are good. Everyone's got their health. We've got some healthy fucking babies. Like it's everyone's sound. Things are good, and just you know, life doesn't always work like that. So take that moment to go. And my dick's working. Yeah. Not that it's up to much, but it's. I'd be really sad if that was like fair. How many stiffies can you get in one day? Oh. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> I can have a try wank Monday. I can I, have a try. try so a triple wank is me done then. Three finishes. F finish? F finishes? Yeah. Who has a wank to non... Not no, I'm saying you might not get there. You, you're, you've you never given up halfway through a wank. No, I'm not saying that, but I'm asking you if three finishes. Scott, Carl, when I sit here as a man in front of you and tell you I can have three wanks a day, it's not two and a half wanks. <laughs> Because I'd say, I've, what kind of animal would be like, yeah, regularly, I have two. No, I can't finish the third, but I start anyway. Because I tell you what, I'm a fucking shrier. I've started to all finish. <laughs> uh, the only time it has, I've ever started anything sexual and not finished is because of some sort of intoxicant. Rather, t uh, When you try and masturbate drunk, it's such a fucking effort, isn't it? Like, I, I don't masturbate drunk. Or hungover. I'm a fucking soldier, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's different because it's all the the brewers drooping it. The um, testosterone is reduced when the alcohol's in the system. As it leaves, you get a flood of testosterone. Is that what it is? Because I've always been hangover horny. Me, I fuck on a hangover. Yeah, my mate Ed thought fuck it was um, because your body thought you were dying. I think that I might have repeated this. This might be a repeat, yeah. but it, it it he his theory was your body's dying. Your body thinks you're dying because of the hangover. So it's like you need to get all of this jizz out there and reproduce before you die. But it's not that. It's just a chemical I'm thing. I'm a needy bastard on a hangover, mate. I need a cuddle and a fuck. All right. In that order. <laughs> and then back, but again and again. Repeat. And like, from the fuck. same person, not yeah. two different people. <laughs> yeah. You don't go around your Auntie Junes and like, oh, give us a nice hug and I will fuck something down this road. <laughs> so like, thanks, love you. I yeah, see you Christmas. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. 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 But drunk, trying to wank drunk. Yeah. Awful. What would you be nostalgic about? I've started singing drunk. Okay, cool. Bed. Okay. <laughs> we know. I know because I've seen it live. Yeah. If I'm drunk, I put music on and sing along to it in bed. Oh, and it's I bet awful. It's good music, you know. <laughs> I bet it's dead good Heading music. Heading south to the land of the pines. I'm thumbing my way in North Carolina. <laughs> Staring up the road and praying to God. <laughs>